This doesn't make any sense. Not everything does. Not everything has to. Stephen Strange, played by Benedict Cumberbatch, is straight out of the Marvel Playboy playbook. Like Iron Man's Tony Stark before him, this brilliant neurosurgeon wallows in luxury and you just know he's going to be taken down a peg or two. How do I get from here to there? Strange's journey along the path of enlightenment is a typically quicksilver affair. Funny, thrilling and engrossing. It also manages to sprinkle some fresh ingredients into the MCU pot, introducing the title character just in time to take his place in 2018's Avengers Infinity War. And on this showing, he's a welcome addition to the universe. You wonder what I see in your future? Possibility. Directed by Scott Derrickson, who also directed Sinister, Doctor Strange is typical of a Kevin Feige-produced Marvel movie, almost seamlessly introducing the protagonist as if he's an old friend. It's an origin story crafted with the minimum of fuss or background as it briskly establishes Strange's aloof disposition. And it doesn't take long before the moment that will change his life. In this case, a violent car crash leaving him unable to use the most vital tools of his trade, his hands. Cruelly rejecting the help of Christine Palmer, played by Rachel McAdams, Strange is willing to try any form of advanced surgery that might repair his crippled digits, which ultimately leads him to Nepal. There he meets Mordo, a straight-laced pupil to Swinton's teacher, who, it transpires, has the ability to access powers beyond our earthly realm. The Avengers protect the world from physical dangers. We're safeguarded against more mystical threats. Operating from several sanctions across the globe, they can leap between realities and dimensions, portal hopping to present day London and New York in an instant. True, there's a nagging feeling that Doctor Strange is picking up on all too familiar tropes seen in everything from Star Wars with the mentor pupil complexities to the Matrix and even Groundhog Day, but Derrickson and his co writers managed to conjure up enough originality in spite of the inevitable showdown on which the fate of the world hangs. Wisely, the script comes lightened with humour to puncture any lingering pomposity. However, in truth, not all of it works. References to Adele, Eminem and Beyonce feel forced, but there are some nice gags too. Mr. Doctor. Mr. Doctor. It's strange. Maybe. Who am I to judge? Cumberbatch may have played the genius before, but he seasoned Strange with just the right amount of arrogance to ensure we don't immediately fall for his charms. Sadly, McAdams is left with the thankless girlfriend role, though she's game enough to ensure it never becomes a major weak spot. And Derrickson has a riot filling the screen with some seriously psychedelic visuals. This might just be the most far out MCU movie yet. Beautifully designed, brilliantly executed. What did you just do to me? I pushed your astral form out of your physical form. What's in that tea? Psilocybin? LSD? It's just tea. With a little honey.